Here. Yo. What's going on, people? It's your boy Marvin Lattimore. Mooney Francis. And this is another edition of Welcome to My Hood Film. <laughs> Uni, what's going on, man? I'm all right, man. I'm chilling. It's nice and warm today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's springtime, man. We back, but it's like late May springtime, that almost summer kind of weather. We went from 65 to 70 to 85 in like 72 hours. Ah, oh, we do New York, yeah. man. We don't care. We, that's how New York weather is. It's like New York is just reckless. Or just global. <laughs> the global <laughs> weather falling apart around us. Either way, it's fine. I was going to try to take it there, but if you was, that, I mean, that's fine. I was just trying to... Is. Represent that New York weather. Gotcha. You know, because like. You got all four seasons. Exactly. That West Coast is always constant. That, you know, that yeah. down South is constant. But New York weather is everywhere. Yeah, just we'll like the New Yorkers. Two seasons in one month. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, that's what we do. So over here is 80. You know, Uni got our, our best our best gear on to try to stay cool. Or you know black mean? shirts. Just black <laughs> shirts. <laughs> got the polos on and all that. Oh, yeah. But, uh. Yeah, we here to do some hood filming, man. We here to get our hood film game on, so that's what we're gonna do. And of course, like like y'all know, we are here to put the world onto the hood one film at a time, and uh, we're gonna do that with another film. So last one we did was How High. Mm-hmm. We put somebody onto that, and this time we decided to bring it to what's closer to home about about the springtime. That's that's love in the air, right? Also, it's been a year and people are down horny out here. So yeah. this is a very appropriate <laughs> movie. There, <laughs> the horniest I've ever seen humanity is kind of scary. Like, all right. <laughs> Even ladies are looking at me like, "Oh yeah, you down horny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you find my DMs? This is this is for the uh, yeah. this is for the DTF people out here. You yeah. know what I mean, in oh, the yeah. city and, and all over the world. We doing this for y'all. You know what yeah. I mean? So uh, basically, we decided to put our guest onto the film uh, Booty Call. Yes, I believe in 1996, 97. Yes, yes, with Jamie Fox, Vivica A. Fox, and uh, Tommy Davison, Tamala Davison. Jones. And a lot of other, lot not, of not really Bernie a lot Mac of showed up for Yeah, no Bernie reason. Mac showed up. We found out that lady from Schitt's Creek was in it. Yeah, she's in it. Her, yeah. Her name is, uh, what's her name? I'll figure it out. Okay. We got, we, we saw her and I was hot. I was shocked when I saw her. So I was like, oh, stop the black lady from Schitt's Creek. The only black lady the from The only Schitt's black Creek. lady in the town. That's how I knew her. Friend. Like, what's that song? I was like, the only black lady in the town. Good for her. She was in booty call. That's when you, way. they always show you when somebody came a long way. One minute you in a hood film, next thing you know, you in an uh, Emmy award winning television show go, global global like global seven warning, whatever seasons, all yeah kind of, yeah all type of records and stuff cool you know stuff. what i mean so that's that's good but uh do you remember this film when you was a kid when i do yeah yeah because that was what everybody talking about like yo they talking about fucking in this you, <laughs> you're like mad young in 97 i was like 13 i was a shit to see yeah, like, 97 no. i was like 12 Smashing. 13 yeah so you right there your your horniness like i need yeah. to know what's going on with this yeah I'd, penis I'd, vagina situation that i've been hearing about <laughs> Yeah, for me that was that was a I I, I saw it because I love Jamie Fox. I think he's hilarious. I, I didn't see Tommy it in theater Davidson. though because that was yeah, obviously yeah. not. Now we had to wait till uh we had to wait till those cable with the edited words mm-hmm. and instead of fuck you heard like fudge mm-hmm. and stuff like <laughs> that's cool. We good. We, that's the stuff we heard. So uh, let's go ahead and just bring our guests in and, and talk to her about this wonderful film. Go ahead and state your name, cuz I am Katie Boyle. Katie Boyle, where you from? Ireland. Ireland. Oh, so I got to rephrase that. So, Katie, what's the crack? Is crack is good. It's crack is yeah, good. Right. Yeah, we know some things. I we know talk to things. some people. Yeah. You know a few friends. We talk to some people. You try to go international, as you see. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's a good friend of ours. She's done, she's done our game show, Night of Trivia, before. Yeah. So, we, we always got love for Katie. Yeah, and she's doing her thing in the comedy scene. Doing her thing in the comedy scene. And yeah. now, we got her onto Hood Films. Yeah. Yeah. You guys took care of me when I first moved over. Yeah. Ah, yeah. that's great. See, that made me feel good when people don't forget, you know. Yeah. yeah. You big on that. Bring it to my eye, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> big on that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, have you ever seen Hood Films before this film? Um, I don't know what Hood Films are. but oh, So what would be the definition of Hood Film before? Starring a rapper. I uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, know if this, I don't know if this is a Hood Film or what I'm about to say, but I watched one recently called... Um, Man eater or something. Or, oh no, you know what? It's, it's not okay. man eater. Um, it's a movie where it's oh, it's w- what men want. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's is that. It's kind of hood, but it's a little bit more. Well, it was so yeah. great. I it's kind of like this, but like years later, and with more money. I don't even remember that. Wait, was I, that I the one where the the lady could read the men's minds? I don't no? think that's the no, one. No, that's not the one, right? Okay, I'm sorry. That, it was, was something like that, yeah. 
She got she done stumped us on our own podcast. Ain't that about it, bitch? It, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty new. It's really good though. Oh yeah, it got Taraji P Henson in it. That it is the one. Out. Yeah, yeah. Read the yeah. Men's yeah. Bonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did watch another one, um, but I forget what it's called because my roommate was like, "Oh, this is meant to be really good," but then the guy kept hitting the girl in it. So oh no! <laughs> he was like, "We." <laughs> it said comedy, but he like slapped her. <laughs> Which I, I kind of want to see that. <laughs> Why um, did it say comedy? <laughs> it's right. like he works as a male guy, and then they work in a nail salon, and then he's the same thing as this. He's trying to, she's trying to set her friend up with. It like kind of like a, a date thing and they go off and they drive and then they have this fight and then they start hitting oh, each other. I think that's poetic justice. Poetic justice. Oh, ah, that's funny. Once ah, I heard Mel, ah, once I heard ah, Mel ah, guy, I was like, yeah. I think that's That's not popular. a comedy. <laughs> my roommate goes, this is a good comedy. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> not true at all. <laughs> that's why we were so confused. Yeah. yeah that's not comedy at all. <laughs> it's literally romance drama. Yeah, that's what? not. That's funny. You're like, that's no, not a comedy. Not even close. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's. I'm sorry. That's. Not but that is kind of hood. It is a hood film, though. Oh, and I seen another one that was in someone's house, and there was a lot of sex, but I can't remember. But this man, you a lot of people's houses. Yeah. Who are these houses? <laughs> <laughs> Who is no. house are you going to watch these movies? That's fine. You know Somebody's trying to put it on. Oh, you should watch Irish hood movies. Oh, what a song! Please. Okay, intermission. Intermission. It's so good. That sounds. That's fun. the name of it. Yeah. It's okay. Like, that's like proper, like um, proper Irish, proper um, like well, like it fits into a lot of Irish stereotypes as well. But a lot, I, every Irish person has watched it. It's really okay. hard if you're not Irish because you'll kind of miss out on a lot of the slang. But oh. since you know what the crack is, hey, we <laughs> watch, you know what the crack is. We watch anime. We've been watching on. We good. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I seen one show on Netflix called The Hardy Bucks. That's how I found out what's the crack. Okay, yeah. I heard I about that. that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you to watch Intermission. You know Colin Farrell? Yes. He's really right. young in it. He like the first scene is he punches a woman in the face. Wait, he's in that? Oh, I want to see that now. He's gonna be Penguin. That was kind of fire. All right. All you had to say was Colin Yo, Farrell. So yeah, all you had to say is Colin Farrell. All you had to say was what she just said just now. Right, yeah, that's it. And Movie there's like just someone gets, gets punched in the face. Like, someone gets shit on the chest. Oh yeah, that's what it's for. There's fuck. a whole girl dread it. She has a mustache and it's all they keep like slagging her over it. They're like oh, yeah, they call it a Ronnie. It's very it's and it's in like a an area that we call flats, which I guess you would call here. Where is it where all the apartments are on top of each other, but they're really cheap? Like projects. projects. Yeah, it's the projects. Every place has a project, man. Oh, yeah, we have, we have, my stepmom, she's a social worker, so she would have oh, to go God. to the, we call like You're black. like a white black person. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's a social worker. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, and Lord. She now got, it's making sense. One time she got, uh, she opened, she knocked on the door and then they opened the door and they threw a teapot at her. Oh, no. Yeah, what? but she, like, just ducked in time. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. I'm loving this. Like, that, so intermission, a hood yeah. film with Colin, an Irish hood film with Colin Farrell, and in the opening scenes, he punches <laughs> a woman in the face. Yeah, yeah. It's I true. mean, we. You guys we, are going to love it. Yeah. It's so good. I'm already. Not I'm that I'm pro people punching people in the face. No, we got it. We're not. It's just a, yeah. a funny yeah. scene. Yeah, we've, yeah. We've, we we got our own share of hood films where, where <laughs> women. We have a hood film called Killer Season where a little girl gets spat on. So yeah. And yeah. another one gets shot in the chest. So oh, okay. we, we, we've seen our fair share. So yeah. when we get a punch in the face is nothing for us. We're we'll just, just be like, oh. Yeah, we'll just, I'll laugh. But I know in like reality, I wouldn't laugh in real life. I'd be like, that's wilding. But in a movie, oh, I'm all for it. Uh, but... <laughs> But yeah, uh, going back to what Uni's saying, it is, uh, most films do have a rapper in it and he contributes to about 90% of the soundtrack uh, <laughs> for his own benefit or her own benefit. However, also a hood movie is, yeah, it's about uh, taking place in a certain neighborhood. Uh, the quality in, in Uni's uh, definition of a hood film, the quality of the film is very low budget. Uh, most of the time, you can see things in the background, like a staff member probably <laughs> like, oh, shit, like something like that. I love that. Yeah, see, so stuff like that, uh, a lot of what you saw earlier, um, that stuff that sometimes just doesn't make sense or people getting shot or, you know, it's a lot of crazy stuff like that that happens. It's very, ghetto is a good word to say it, but that's mm -hmm. that's what a hood film is. For us, for, for, for a lot of people in the hood, it's mostly a film that is only going to be targeted to audiences of like color and in the hood we the only ones that's going to see it you're not going to see this film playing in a in like the tribeca film festival yeah no billboards for this yeah there's not a lot of billboards in today's generation you might but back in the day you wasn't it's yeah. stuff like that yeah 
Yeah, it wasn't going to be on the 42nd Street AMC theater. Yeah, it you got to be. It'll be on 42nd Street, guy selling it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a guy selling it to you for $5. Stuff in like front that. From the AMC. Yeah. yeah. So, speaking of which, uh, Booty Call, what was, what was your thoughts from seeing that? This is going to sound really weird, what I'm about to say, but I, if I had been 13 and watched that, it would have been good because they're very. Uh, good with condoms and stds yeah you're right that's what i was thinking i was like this is actually really good yeah, the, guys, right. the guys aren't pressuring they are right. yeah. like okay we'll go get the, they do everything to get the condoms and then she's like very much like you know sticking to her guns with mm. it which mm. you know that's great yeah, yeah. you're right what, what was the movie about in your eyes um sex. <laughs> that's yeah what do you want to say I don't know. I thought she was gonna give us some. I thought he was gonna some give more profound than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, she, she like, got nope. it. It was about, about sex. sex. It was about safe about sex. It's called yeah, booty safe call. Sex. It, was good. it was about safe sex. That was because uh, even I was like when she was getting the cling film. I was like, oh Jesus, this is a bit much. Like, but <laughs> yeah, yeah she was I, I was like on the guy's <laughs> side at that stage. It's yeah, great. but that's good. It's good that she was like, I know my whatever. I would. I didn't even know you when. Also, when she was like talking, like you can get a disease from getting lit. We call it licked out. I was like, oh no! I'm always letting everybody lick me out. Hilarious. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I don't even know about dental downs. Well, you're good now, so you don't. See I have HPV already. So. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. You got the. She everybody already... in Ireland does because we have sex without condoms. So. Oh, okay. they just don't sell it out there. there. Well, that's not lit. <laughs> it's the opposite of lit. Raw dogging out there, baby. Well, no, your, between your legs. It's it's not anymore because every everybody had HPV and loads of people were like dying from it. But oh, no. I know it was like a whole big thing. But uh, it's because there's a Catholic country, so there's oh, like yeah, a big push awesome. on condoms. Yeah. Oh, I apologize. It's not lit out there. Ooh, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, no, see? it cost me so much money to get this shit scraped out of me. Oh, oh I geez. apologize. I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah, My bad. See? Okay. Good. See, that's why that we could have done with that movie when we were 13. That's yeah. They could have yeah, made, right. <laughs> made a booty call out of Ireland, you know. Booty call was actually very that was very pro. Or it was like I mean, there was a lot of accents that maybe weren't so great in oh yeah some of the more racial stuff <laughs> but it, was, little, it was pro women it was I definitely pro was women yeah um, and she he waits seven weeks and then the other woman is like i'm the boss bitch yeah, yeah. i think this was very feminist if I yeah, it was bit. yeah because they a little bit of everything it's true they didn't force themselves on the hud they just was like yo come on what's up and then when they put their foot down the guys were like all right we'll just do it and then guys will do anything for this Next. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. If that movie was evident. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. uh <laughs> like ninety percent of us would. Yeah. I, just, my tons. I would have bounced. I'll be honest with you. After the after the whole, you gotta buy the things so I could look you out. I would have been gone. Well, at what level? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, like, I would have checked out at that point. Yeah, because they went to the store. Most cats would have like, kept going. Yeah, it was they, like two in the morning. Yeah, they went to the store like two, three times. So yeah, yeah well, like three times. I would have yeah. kept going if I were him as well. Once the dog was lost, I would have just been like, "Well, this is over." Yeah. I would have went home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You wouldn't have looked for the dog anymore? No, I would have been. I would have just yeah. You're right. I'm <laughs> on a side. I'm, like, yeah, I'm out. I it's lost your dog it. now. <laughs> yeah, it's not my problem. Yeah. I wouldn't be chasing a dog down yeah, the street. Yeah, no yeah, way. yeah, yeah. And he flipped over a car. You definitely did see hood films, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not looking for no that. dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, absolutely. Yo, that's, when you think about it, yeah, because it was the dog and uh, Jamie Foxx's character almost took a, a gun to the chest. He almost got shot, almost for, no got shot for no reason. His own boy and him get taking the shot. Yeah, and they got nearly got shot. And the, why did they nearly get shot twice? Right, that's right. No, I mean, the first time twice. was like this is New York in the nineties. Yeah, the first oh. time was was by accident because they was like the guy was just shooting at a robber, so yeah. it was like using the crossfire. The second time <laughs> that was just a racist cab driver. Yeah. yeah, that was clear as day. He was just like, I need a ride to the hospital. The dude's freaking out. And he pulled the trigger he anyway. Pulled the trigger anyway. Could have clapped. Yeah, him. oh, he could have clapped him. I think his his gun jam. Yeah, his gun jam. Damn, that would have been if, <laughs> that would have been if for Jamie Foxx. What Fox. was the point of that? Then he stole the cab anyway. So at that point, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. take your cab now. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take it. You just try to so kill me. That part bugged me out because I was like, they stole the cab. They stole the cab. Where was the cab driver? He ran away, bro. <laughs> he he bitched up when he realized, oh shit, the gun don't work. And he shot that guy. His prince is on the gun. That guy can go to jail. Yeah, he he did the right thing. Like, yeah, I'm out. This probably not legal anyway. How does it feel to know that we showed you a sex movie that at the end of the sex movie they committed like several crimes? Did, did they commit? Well, I they just borrowed. Sex. Yeah, I like her attitude. She's right. <laughs> I'm sure, they put it back. Yeah, they just like, bought it. Yeah. They gave it back. They left it at the hospital. He can get it. He impersonated yeah. a doctor. 
I mean, yeah, they, yeah, but, whatever. To save his friend because they didn't want the insurance. Yeah, Fuck him. They, he did the right thing. They yeah. were being weird about the insurance. <laughs> yeah. And then he helped a baby be born. Yeah, he did do that. That is, that's just crazy. <laughs> it's just his <laughs> random series of events yeah. that someone was like, okay, now he's going to go help a baby be born. And that's now much this, and now this. Yeah, these are the stories that uh, we tell in these films. That, yeah. Uh, I guess they saying that when guys like finally get to have sex, that later they're telling their boys like, "Man, you ain't gonna believe this, man. I almost yeah. took it down, but I had to go to the hospital real quick. And, right, you know, yeah, check this. I impersonated a doctor and gave birth. Like, yeah, I, I've seen people jump through hoops at three o'clock in the morning try to get some. Those are some hoops. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are hoops. It's, it's I need, the whole, whole courts. People dream, jump through more hoops. Yeah. <laughs> see, you see, that's. The, <laughs> Why ain't nobody getting shot for this? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm pretty goddamn it. That's, that's where that's where that's going. That's that's the hoops dudes gotta climb. Like I gotta impersonate a doctor, learn how to give birth. I mean you don't, but <laughs> I just making my tree date. <laughs> Basic like, over here. She's like, I don't see the point. Just three I dates. wouldn't wait seven weeks either for somebody. What do you think is like the proper cutoff point where a guy or a woman should be like, I'm you know or I think more guys should be like, I'm good. Like, there's too much. I mean, like a month. A month? Okay. Yeah, I think you should, because you need to know if you're sexually... I wouldn't be if I were a guy and they weren't... Yeah, if it's trash. (laughs) If it's trash. I get it. Well, not even that. It's just like, that's like an important part of it. So, like, tree dates, tree weeks, I usually wait. Uh, Depends on how... Sometimes they fit the tree dates into a weekend. So, like, by Monday, we're having sex. Oh, damn. That's a smart motherfucker. (laughs) Three days, word? One, two, three. Let's go. I didn't even think about that. (laughs) Yeah, my ex-boyfriend did that. Oh, (laughs) shit. He was like, we went out for drinks. Then the next day, we went for breakfast. He, like, stayed over. We didn't have sex. And then he, he went for dinner that night. And he was like... Three dates, and I was like, mm, okay. Wow, you checked me, Joe. He must He's have had like, a decent uh, 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 job. I was like, I got this. <laughs> I got He's that. He's a bartender. So. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. spendable cash. Gotcha, gotcha. But he used <laughs> on cocaine, so I broke oh, up with wow. him. Oh, wow. Oh, the sugar booger. Okay, <laughs> sugar. Sugar booger. Booger, I sugar. It. Booger. Oh, I call it sugar booger. Okay, whatever. it's fine. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Reciprocal. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Three day. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's smart. Said, I'm going to write that down. Here. Tonight we go to the bar. Tomorrow we had another bar. All right, boom. I'm my man, well, I just saw her. Like, this man's like, nah, we're going to knock man. three out in a row three right three now. Out. Like, that's pretty. Man. man requested those days off from work. Oh, wow. Uh, He's like, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we lit. But then, like, a few days later, you told me he was in love with me. So it got to his head, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so nah, he's, I'm not. he sped up the whole process. See, all oh, he's doing something. So he was man's in the oh, movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, never mind. Just in a faster sense. He was wild oh, for his back. He yeah, was trying okay. to flash it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeesh. Yeah, I'm good. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, he would have tried to trap you. That's smart he's you got away. Uh, he oh, he's been deported. So. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you living real different over here. You're something about to be lit. Damn. No wonder he needed the weekend. That's what he was that trying to make this quick. He's, he's like, Yo. Oh, yeah. He was so he's definitely going like, to try and try. The boys is coming for me. I got to make this quick. So he's like, I love you. So what's up? What's up? What's up? She's like, what? Just don't, don't worry. Just follow me. Is this I love another you. person from Ira from the motherland? Yeah. He's okay. Oh, I didn't even hear about them getting deported. No offense. I don't even know. There's so many uh, undocumented Irish people in America. I figured it like, out. That's but, why know. when Conor McGregor started throwing stuff at, we were like, stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like drawing up. attention. <laughs> yeah, to yeah, shut to up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, you making because it hot. Someone were on, uh, I think Obama deported a ton of Irish people as well. Wow. Hey, uh, hey, you got to deport people across the board. That's yeah, only I'm fair. Saying. Like, white <laughs> person, black, get out of here. It's yep. Asian. You got to, you want to do it? You going to yeah. be a dickhead? You got to do it to everybody. <laughs> he, he, he probably would try for Connor, but he was like, nah, he's too hot in these streets right yeah, now. Yeah, you know? yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's cooking. But Katie was at home like, yo, fam, Girl, you, you already doing, here. What are you doing? What you got to do, you don't even got to knock people out anymore. That's Nobody sick. cares. Yeah, that was Get it. beat up, get money, and go home and shut well, up. You're already hot right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. Like, let me get famous too, chill. Girl, I'm trying out here. I'm grinding for years. I'm grinding for years. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> is there, was there a character that you really felt like I, I rocks with him or her. Like, this is my favorite character. Um, I liked the girl that I forget her name. Vivica a. Fox, the hot not, one? Not, oh, not the hot not one. Not the scary not the super one. Hot one. Oh. I the thought shorter the hot one? one the, sh- the shorter one was hotter, I thought. They're pretty yeah, hot, but Vivica a. Fox is Vivica. The one with the smaller boobs. Right. Okay. That's fair. I liked her. Oh, wait. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was, was going to say. The one that was trying to get with the dude, the one with the dog. Yes. There not Listerine. That's a better way to put it. 
Oh yeah, not yeah, Alice Three. Yeah, I think she's like a little uptight with the dental dam stuff. But, Definitely, yeah. she was. but I liked her. Yeah, she did. The, she did define what you were saying—the whole jumping through hoops thing. Because the other lady was like, "I'm ready to go right now." Yeah. Like, she's yeah. I didn't opposite, care about condoms. Yeah, yeah. she like, said it like the only girl for one thing. Yeah, and she was. So right. What do you? What do you? Yeah, yeah. And they pointed out like the whole stereotypes. <laughs> like what? One thing I could respect about this film was that like it was very real in certain aspects. Yeah. Like, Black people be sitting around playing cards, and when they play cards, they just start talking about relationships and sex and all that. And then eventually, at some point during the end of the card game or in the middle, one person and another person decide to hook up. Like they just look at each other, it's like, "What you said? What you saying? This? What's up?" Mm-hmm. And then that's it. You don't see them again. Like I, I think I'm done playing. Mm-hmm. That's it. Even though that scene went on for far too long, but it did. But that was because uh, they tried to get the comedic aspect. I got it. You, I didn't need to see a dog licking Jamie Foxx's butthole. I that was very it. progressive, though, because the bull, bull, bull holes are eaten now. Yep. By dogs? No, by no. people, but he was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, I guess so. Yeah. Fores- it's foreshadowing, baby. Foresh- <laughs> it's foreshadowing. In 10 years, this will be cool. Yep. This yeah. is going to be cool someday. That's funny. Not it, by it, animals, but, you yeah, know, not by it's animals. still in general. Yeah. I know he was, he was like, yeah, I like that. Like, go for the cool. Yeah, See? he was on some then again, futuristic shit. That did kill two birds with one stone. The eat ass and bestiality. <laughs> you think they just got all the special? Yeah, they people? threw all in Why there. Why are people having sex with animals now? Uh, I don't know if that's but you hot. Think that's foreshadowing. <laughs> nah, that's I don't think that's ever. Thing? That's never gonna be the next thing. You know, a woman in Ireland had sex with her dog and she died. She was allergic to the sperm. Oh. Uh, I think I heard about that. Mm-hmm. That's like, funny. It was like front page news at home. Damn, that's, that's funny. Wow. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You must maybe walk out the studio. That's wild. Damn. We also play cards in Ireland. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, we do those things, But it's too. the opposite. I guess she then fucks the dog afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she like, we get damn, but, you know, it get, get a little crazy. I respect that. That's I respect fun. that. Oh. <laughs> I was just saying, <laughs> outside of the dog, it, it, yeah, just conversations be had like that, but there is always that one person that's just like, Nah, I'm, I'm just down to go right now. Like, yeah. I don't care. The right person say the right words. Mm-hmm. Bam, it's game time. So you had, you had your lady. I thought she was prettier in my eyes, too. I just, I probably would have like been that guy. wholesome looking or something. That's yeah, fair. I think yeah. that's what that's it was. Fair, yeah. You yeah. know, Girl sometimes. Girl next door yeah, type yeah, of yeah, that. Right, yeah, that vibe. Yeah. I probably would have jumped those hoops. Oh, <laughs> I, I get it. I understand. I jumped those hoops. I understand, but I, after I got shot at the first time, it's going home time. Oh, know. yeah. No, no. Most definitely. I'm going to get shot at once a night. I, I would have looked at her and be like, thanks for helping me out. Take me to the hospital, all that. But To I, be I fair, they didn't say what happened because as soon as I get back, like, you know I almost got shot for this? Yeah. 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 Uh, so they yeah. got to fuck themselves. They just said success bit. and he had sex, I guess. So I'm guessing an a hour or two passed or whatever because it was no. already later in the day. Oh, yeah. They probably... Yeah. Yeah. There's a I look when I was looking up this film mm-hmm. to, for us to watch, uh, I found an alternate ending on YouTube. It's an alternate ending. Yes. What's the alternate I never, ending? Never got to see the light of day until YouTube was a thing. So the alternate ending is basically they flash forward. They do a time skip, uh, years in the future. All four of them are old people. And they're together. Yeah. Aww. But not in the way that you think. Is did they switch it up? No. So. Oh shit. The two uh, boys. That would be the fun. two guys are still there. Two girls are still there. That's there. They're, they're the same couples that they were from before the time skip. Okay. One of them is married. The other ones are still fuck buddies. Mm. So the ones that are married are the ones that were there was seven weeks couple, yeah. and right. then the fuck buddies are still the fuck buddies. But they have the same exact scene in the future with the dog and everything. Yeah, that that's yep. you got to cut that same exact scene. <laughs> they're playing the cards. Line. They're old people, but they're sitting there talking. To, no, they were about to play dominoes instead of cards. Oh, and God. while they were playing dominoes, the dog comes up again. For some reason, I don't. Oh, that, that dog, dog should be dead. So. Yeah, so uh, guessing, that dog should be dead. I'm guessing it's a puppy from the dog. Is it was third generation? Yeah, dog. third generation, and it does the same thing. It licks the toes, licks the butt, all that stuff. And Jamie Foxx is like, "Oh, oh, my hip!" Oh, but he gets up and he's like, "Yo, so what's up?" And they go do their thing. But the difference is at the end, uh, the seven weeks couple decides the girl decides now to be the freaky one, and the dude's like, "No, I don't want to do anything anymore." old now Mm -hmm. and then she wants to do butt stuff and he's like no and she grabs his butt and that's just how it ends that's terrible (laughs) that's terrible see why didn't go with that that was foreshadowing as well though because now all men want a finger (laughs) oh god (laughs) i haven't done it yet but i hear that uh i'm 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 not there yet i don't want that 
I'm good. And keep my name long. Don't mess with me. <laughs> what? <laughs> she keeping it real. Nah, keep it real. Go ahead. Keep Jesus. it real. I mean, if I love them when they want it, maybe, but I don't know. Nah. But young men want that. See? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we old. We we just simple guys. Yeah, I'm pretty simple. <laughs> See, not that, that simple, that's but I'm pretty. Finger off the butt. Finger off the butt. Not, that's, not that, you know. We're I don't good. I know anybody like that. Yeah. I don't know where your fingers been. <laughs> where your dirty ass hands been. Well, I think it's more your dirty ass. Nah, yeah, I was yeah. like, she's yeah. thinking about the Well, both ways. You can both. Hey, I, I clean. <laughs> you know, man, about, he's like, I got a clean butt. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's looking at her nails like, so what you say? <laughs> like, Hilarious. What? Fair, I'm point. leaving. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, I, rock, I rock with Buns, even though I'm more relatable to Tommy Davidson's character. I just, Buns was just that guy that every guy. Tries to be. He's for the just on talk. Yeah, 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 he's way more on talk. But that's where every guy, you know, that confidence level where it's like, nah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I could do this. I can get in here. Then when that, yeah, <laughs> when the real thing comes around, it's like, ugh. So maybe I bit off a little more than I could chew. But you definitely did. Yeah, he just didn't want to. He <laughs> just didn't do hoops. He just was doing the things off the strength of his friend. But Which is good. I get yeah, it. yeah. He was a good friend. Yeah, but if he was by himself, oh, it would have went down. Yeah, no, nah, he would have been yeah. gone. It would have been a different yeah. ending. He would have yeah. been gone. Would have been a different ending. Maybe he had a kid, or he would have yeah. been like, <laughs> like, why are you coughing? Don't worry about it. Oh, like, something like that would, you know, it's the nineties. You know, so he was on his way to to another booty call. He got so mad. He, he was. Like, he was. He was already. And he tried to scoop the the Asian lady in the store. Yeah. The Asian yeah. Lady. And the doctor woman. That's right. And the doctor He's woman. He's nonstop. He's, He's a horn dog. Yeah. He would have got the nurse too if he didn't clown her. Yeah. You're right. He, see, that's what I'm saying. He's he's like most most New York dudes are like that. And we it's I don't know, most is a strong word. I mean that whole catcalling thing, he just didn't catcall. He yeah, just was right true. to the point. He didn't have to yell or nothing. He was just right in her face, like, so what's up? So many of my friends got beat up by a cousin that came home from jail for that. So I For what? Catcall? Yeah. Oh. You ain't never seen somebody call their cousin? Oh, I've seen it too many times. Yeah, I was like, uh, All right, I must be living differently. You live it differently, I'm baby. Different. Live it differently. Women around where I live is very different. Like, like, you, they don't play games. You just hold that thought, sir. Yeah, basically that's what <laughs> happened. All right, we'll be right back. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. I'm like, I'm yeah. not gonna fight because I didn't say shit. So oh. I was gonna go. Why was the cat caller still there? Because he's an idiot. This guy was an idiot. We was chilling on a stoop. He was like, Yeah, ain't nothing gonna happen. I was like, Are you sure? Yeah, I would have been like, Yo, fellas, I'll be back. So that person was fine. But hey, nah, he didn't do that. He thought he was something. different people. Yeah, different people. But well, he learned. Yeah. Um, is there any, uh, was there any like scenes where you felt like there was like a plot hole where you were just like, I don't understand why didn't this happen or anything like that? Did you feel like that? Well, I mean, it was all kind of a bit of a plot hole. Like, it was just a really random, right? Yep. Oh, I didn't think. Yeah, no, I didn't think. It no, makes okay. sense in how it didn't make sense. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Like, I see what they're doing. Yeah. I If I had one, I'd say how easy it was that the hospital patient was able to switch yeah, uh, I mean, that's just one of many. Yeah, yeah that was how that easy was it was up. that he was able to just switch the clipboards. I was like, you could do that? That was mad easy. He was just I like, mean, maybe it was the 90s. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so like, you kind of can't get away with that today. Yeah, but. Like, oh, also the shaving balls. Not that, but that was good because that was a foreshadowing too, because now all the men shave their balls. Not all the men, but a lot of them do. I trim. It's a big thing, manscaping. Yeah. And so the, when they're joking about it, they're like, oh, that's embarrassing. Huh. Yeah, that's true. She's right. I not that, that it's a plot hole, but just to no, no, switch I, that, back to nah, your, nah, work, you your foreshadowing thing. You good, you good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> get out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get out, boys. Like get a learn these things. Bro. Like I'll be at a ball like, so you shave? That's Hilarious. interesting. That dude's going to be like, yo, I'm about to, <laughs> about to beat this dude up. <laughs> I mean, I just do it for myself because I don't like hair that much anyway. If me personally, you see, I don't. Oh, but, but you talking upstairs? I mean, everywhere. Oh, 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 everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so you don't you don't do the taco meat on the chest? Nah. Okay, I shave that too. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I've had some guys who like shave their balls, but nowhere else, and they just look a bit funny. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not going that far, but I don't want to. I don't want to look like a forest down there. I don't like Central Park. <laughs> 
Pelham Bay Park, yeah, that's good enough. But like, if you're central. hairy everywhere else, yeah. it's just like. Mm. But anyway, I wouldn't. I wouldn't need a man to shave his balls. But I think it's, it's a big. It's like what's that called? Was it was it with money, uh, consumerism or something? Where, um. So like they're pushing men oh. to shave their balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell, yeah capitalism. Oh, okay, okay. So they can sell them all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's true. That's what possible. It is. Yeah. I mean, you could just. Because I don't think women care. They don't. I, ain't I don't even. Woman. I've yeah. heard some complaints like it's too hairy sometimes. Never had a woman that was like, right. "We're gonna stop this because fair enough." Downstairs is too hairy for me. Fair enough. Are they calling back though? Huh? Are they calling yeah. back? Okay. If right. they not calling back, then I did something wrong. But it ain't because of the hair. Okay, that's like that. Fair enough, <laughs> just fair saying, enough like, my brother. I'd be upset. Like, what's it? Fair the, enough. As you call in, like, hey, so was it? Was it the hair? <laughs> I could trim it. I could trim it. Right. Like, just let me fix. know, please. It'll be done in five minutes. Right. I got a little pair of scissors. I got some right now. What's up? I got a pair of scissors in the glove compartment. I can just go get it right uh, now. <laughs> Yo, this is our uh this is our craziest episode yet. Hey man, it's horny summer. We gotta give yeah. we gotta, no, we no, gotta it, to, man. We showed a movie called Booty Call, so it's only right that we had to go this hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta do booty calls, a classic. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. yeah. For it's this only time. right. So if you folks want to see that film, it's on Showtime. Uh the, the Showtime app, that's where we saw it. Um, if you have another way of seeing it, if you have an old DVD, that's on you. But yeah, rewatch it. It's it's actually a good movie. It was good. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. It yeah, held up right? better than I thought it would. Yeah. yeah. There was a scene where I did see you kind of freak out a little. Oh, with the when the dude almost got his balls chopped that off. That gave me so much anxiety. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I just, I don't like that that it could happen. Oh. I just felt his pain. I felt all the empathy. Well, I, the... The operation they did, I don't know, but I have heard stories where like patients were mixed up. <gasps> <laughs> yeah so that's why i was like i could never see a a patient actually switching the clipboards but i have heard stories of like doctors just being like all right we're gonna do this and help you and then now it makes up babies and everything right you see yeah, yeah. god that's the worst i'd be nah, so those mad are facts. those are facts so that's why i was like it could happen but as in terms of the patient actually doing it i'm like i don't i don't know and also, the patients were so close together. That was also very weird. Yeah. Like, their beds were, like, like, right there. It looked like a war scene or something. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it did. Because they were all just like, what you in for? Uh, I'm going to oh, assume wow. that's not how it really is. And they just had to do it for, like, movie magic. Because yeah. I'm like, that seems very irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all these dudes stacked up next to each exactly. other. Exactly. Or maybe it's just the, maybe it's the pandemic in me. Because we've. We've been accustomed to the whole social distancing, so I'm like, oh, why are those beds? Nah, oh, okay, so it's yeah, not okay, so it's okay. Space between yeah, them. that's what I thought. I was like, these beds are so close, They're way too close. Yeah, that man's had the audacity <laughs> to get up and go, "Oh, yeah, you get your balls chopped off?" <laughs> like what? Yeah, and he was just easy, like, nah, nah, bump that B. I'm switching these, switching these uh, clipboards. I'm like, yo, and like it just all of it kept making me laugh because I was like, there's no nurse in there, oh, Let's check on them, right. It was like nobody was in there to just look. Like, yo, did you just switch this clipboard, sir? It must have been the Hooders Hospital. Yeah. Of all oh, time. there was a plot hole when the, the security guard went over and said, Doctor, it's your your uh, patient. But how did, like, did he just see his name tied? Oh. So <laughs> nah, that's just what happens. <laughs> oh, the security no. guard came out and was like, yo, Doctor, we got to live with a baby. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and he goes, it's your patient. Yeah, but, but how do you, you're right, how Unless do you he know? saw the name tag. Nah, nah, nah. It's like, what security guard you know be pulling up to hospital <laughs> rooms like, yo, you got a patient in like, uh, yeah, that's yeah. definitely you. <laughs> so, this is a terrible security hospital. guards are not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bad hospital. It's a bad yeah. hospital. It's like, Mount- it's the worst hospital. What What's the hospital in Chinatown? I, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll Google it's like a bunch. Which one you think? You think it's some really bad shit? Yeah. Oh, just keep it hoods. They're like Jacoby or Mount Sinai. It so. could be one of those. I was kind of thinking of that. You want Mount Sinai in the mid 90s? I could see what, if they oh, were yeah, doing yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, they were pretty good. I ain't gonna front. I'm sorry to Jacoby and Mount Sinai. That was, that was not right. There's one in New York that's bad. I know there is. I just don't remember. I think it's Bronx North or something like that. Anyway, but that's neither here or there. You were right. That security guard had no business telling my man that he needed a job to do. Yeah, I know, like, and then what's crazy is that, like, he delivered. Okay, so wait, the deli- no, he dropped off the gun shop. He dropped off his boy first, and mm-hmm. then went for the baby, right? Mm-hmm. So, when did the security guard tell him that 
Because I'm remembering when when did the security guard tell him that he needed to go handle a patient? As soon as he got out from uh, dropping his boy off. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm bugging, I'm bugging. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, then he ran up to the chick and tried to holler at her. Okay, okay. That's why I was like, yo, that plot was so, like, <laughs> weird. I mean, the whole hospital joint was like, this is out of control. Yeah. But I will say I love the, the Chinese, when they went to the Chinese shop. <sighs> And man's got them the landscape condoms because Chinese shops be having oh, yeah. wildest assortment of like sex stuff that it's insane outside yeah. of the landscape condoms. They got yeah, like, he, they're not BSing. It's not yeah, stereotyped. It's, not, it's yeah. very real. Also, I didn't know lambskin condoms don't protect you against HIV. So I, I didn't know that either. I used latex. Yeah. That's funny. I didn't know that, but it felt like such a fact when I was watching the film because right, like, it was like. Once man said you feel you almost feel everything, I was like, Yeah, that doesn't sound like it's gonna work then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the minute he gets in there, all you go here is like just like paper. Like, uh oh. Like uh, Yeah. Like, Luckily going. they make like thin skin now. So Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I we thought, got the technology. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted them I wanted them to pull out like a tiger X pull or something. They should have showed an actual good year, but I guess that would have been copyrighted. Wait, what was the good year stuff? I the good year condom. We call condoms rubbers in the street and good year makes tires. So Oh yeah. That's there you go. Teach teach them them good year tires. So that was a real like metaphor. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. a joke. Yeah. There's no good year tire. Yeah. I was buying that all the time. Yeah. Uh, they don't say it as much anymore or at all, I don't think. Yeah, but don't, people don't really call yeah. it rubbers anymore. We usually get a kick out of the fact that uh, New York City subways got condoms. So we go off of that. Oh, they do? I don't yeah. use that. I don't trust that at all. Wait, New York City subway? Yeah, it's... So when you get the condom, the packaging is the New York City subway logo and like the train lines and stuff. Oh, um, I've seen these. Yeah. Um, I just kept it moving. Yeah, everybody I know that has used them in their life are now parents. Yeah. Like, mm. I don't even like trust them with the trains. Yeah. I'm not going to trust them with my, yeah. my, my yeah. penis. It had to be some desperation moment where it was like, the girl asked for a condom or something and he was like, this is all I got. Jeez. I'm not going to That anywhere happens else. though, you know, where you're just like, oh, I got this free somewhere. Like, yeah, you get yeah. what you pay for. Like, I'm not going anywhere else. Yeah, once I saw those, I just, I always laugh when I see them, but I've never used them. No. It was before my friends were even parents. I was like, this yeah. just does not look like you almost sick. better just going raw. At that. Yeah, it's almost, yeah. It's almost method. better just raw dog, baby. It's, it's almost, it's yeah, almost pull the out same method. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Jeez. anybody who? Do you know any guys who say that they pull out game is strong? Yeah, <laughs> she's like all of them. <laughs> they all say that. <laughs> I wear condoms. I'm not gonna front. I don't <laughs> trust my pull out game. Yeah, I'm not that good at it. Yeah, nope. fuck that. Nope. My yeah. ex boyfriend, the one who was deported, he was. We would do pull out. Oh, okay. I probably got HIV. Kobe. But you guys all oh have HIV. Everybody has. Okay. If anybody over 25 has, age, has some form of it, some form of strand, it just it, it can kill women. That's, it doesn't oh, okay. affect men. You guys carry it on your penis and give it to everybody. All okay. right. Well, okay. <laughs> wow. it's just to you know educate. Nah, you're teaching us like the movie. Everybody game. has it. Everybody. Yeah. Tell you about your gender is trash. You, you get yeah. it. You get it from even just like fingering and stuff. Yeah, it's it's wow. like it's the most common STD, but everybody has it. It's just yeah. that it's like cold sores sometimes when yeah. you flow out. that? But there's one. It's like a couple of strains. There's one strain that can give you warts, but there's another strain that can give you women cancer. So that's why because it's the kind of dodgy. But anyway, his bullet game was either strong or he can't have kids or I can't have kids. Because we never got pregnant. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> His sperm deported. Oh, <laughs> shit. You roast this bitch. Whole <laughs> life. Whole life is just roasted. But I've never done pull out since. That was so risky. Yeah, no, it is. It's really yeah. bad. You try it once for the fuck of it, but then you think in the back of your mind, like, yeah. Yeah. I was definitely playing with fire. Yeah. 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 Jesus. So I get I get everything that she was thinking about. Yeah. So I know when I be having situations with ladies, I'm like, damn, I need a condom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, just safe. I don't yeah, know these people. Yeah. yeah. But you know what's crazy? In the hood, most people think less about the disease. They just really think, I don't want to have a kid. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same in Ireland. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. why <laughs> that's why they do they're more okay with pull out than I, yeah, it's not. They don't think about it. Yeah, it's like, I just don't need a kid at this time. That's, that's yeah. just like, you know, I feel like maybe it's less, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe that's less the hood and probably just everywhere. But I'll be seeing that now. Most people be like, oh, also, my who got, who got, who got finances to be supporting anybody? Exactly. Right now. <laughs> in their early 20s. Feed and myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm 30. Right. See? Yeah. And like, you're like, fam, I don't even, I got money just to get a car or right. maybe a house, but right. to support another human being right yeah, now? That's a grip. 
Uh, and Adore. they can't work. <laughs> I, know, I, would, I would hate that kid. Yeah, like yo, you like can't work for like freeloader. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even work for like sixteen years. Come on, man. Or, like, like damn like, it. Like damn it. Then that kid gets sixteen. You're like, nah, you running that money up. Pass that. Pass that. That's like, funny. Um. Anyway. Um. So we usually do a thing in our show where we have a thing called uh, "Whose man's is this?" Are you aware of that that phrase? Is it mean like whose boyfriend is it? Close, then but no. Then I'm not. Aware. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <okay. laughs> it's all right. That's why we ask. So basically, it's just somebody who's doing too much. Like they're a bit extra, and you're just like, "Yo, whose whose man's is this?" Like, come get your man's. You know, oh, like, like control him. Yeah, yeah, like he's tripping. Like he's yeah. doing too much. Or who invited her to the party? Right. One of those. Like who invited her? She's yeah. a jerk. So stuff like that. So is there a character in this movie that you felt like you would have to look at and be like, whose man's is this? Buns. Yeah. Ah. He was so Buns. much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say it's because his name is Buns, but <laughs> that was DMX's character name in Belly, right? It was. It was, so I can't. can't I'm still going to say it because he was. <laughs> like, what are you talking <laughs> Well, or the guy in the Chinese restaurant, he was a bit much. Oh, the gay guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. horrible customer service. Oh my yeah. gosh, the worst. Yeah. Nah, that's serious. The worst. If this movie was in 2021, he would have got yelped out the building. Yeah, that, you can't do that. Like, now. Who, what's going <laughs> on? Yeah. Yeah. You can't make a super flamboyant gay got Chinese yelped out man. The building, fam. Yeah, it was weird because he was gay, which is progressive, but mm. then he wasn't progressive. Because of the stuff he said, yeah, he was saying, and then he was like, kind too. of assaulting your man. Yeah. It was like he a dropped little... the end bomb there. Yeah, yeah. he did. He told, <laughs> he told a black the nigga, please. I said, what? Right. Oh, I'd have been like, where's your manager, fam? Please, Murder. this is just the most disrespectful. Either and that then, or go ahead. They then, did curse my Chinese, which was fun. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and then Bond's because he speak Chinese, and he was like, because a kung fu movie. Yeah, hey, you'd be surprised yeah. how dudes pick it up. Yeah. Be, well, yeah, actually, yeah. I do have a friend. You know, not Leo Kerr? Yeah, of course. She said she learned English from watching American movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That actually. makes sense. Well, who'd you say? Natalie. You know oh, Natalie. Oh, yeah, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the fine one. Yeah. <laughs> Thirsty Summer. <laughs> Can we put my business out on the street, fam? She's not listening to this. It's fine. Oh, thanks. That's good. To I'm know. gonna tell her though. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice compliment. Okay, yeah. tell People her we said hi. Saying you're fine. Yeah, tell her we said hi. Oh, <laughs> so we hope you're doing well. We hope you're doing well. Uh, <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I agree with you. Uh, I felt. Yeah, I would say he was a bit extra. Um, like I said, Listerine I, comes close second because her name's Listerine. Yeah, it don't get no worse than that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, about that. I'm going. Good thing you're. She's hot as hell and rich. Yeah, but to be named Listerine, you yeah. gotta live with that. Yeah, yeah I love that. that she put out her platinum card and she was like, "I look after myself." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She Independent, in the best. Ended out there. Uh, the best character for him to counter with the gas card was pretty funny. That was yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, yeah no funny. car. He was like, yeah, no "I got a gas card. We good? I can get gas <laughs> anywhere I go." I was like, "What?" That's what a dude would do the whole. Yeah, I got true. something. Somebody yeah. would have. Yeah, we would have pulled out something. That's like, funny. Shit, what do I got? Whole lot. Um, I like that she went through all that just for the man to be finished in like 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. That is a beautiful payoff. Yeah. But, comedy. Then, but then it was good then at the end that she had him like all tied up. So it kind of balanced it out. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah it's not it's, like. He's not going nowhere. Yeah. Because yeah. the ball's in the ball's in her court. Now. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, yo, I, I, I got this over you. It was from her core from the top she pulled out the platinum cord. Yeah. It was even her core from the top she walked in and walked out like, nah. Yeah. That yeah. was great. I yep. love that. But people talk, fam. So it's like, imagine he went and told his friends, like, oh, I tore that up. And then she went and told her friends, yeah. like, he only did something for like three seconds. Right. I mean, you can't get away with saying yeah. that. Nowadays. You already know whose word is going to yeah. travel faster and stronger. It's going to mm. be hers. Into a glove. Yep. Mm -hmm. into, into into a, a glove. glove. That's right. She let that happen to her. Yeah. You know what? Now that I think about it, it's a draw. Yeah. It's uh -huh. a draw. He's going to be like, yo, I, I got this match with a glove on, fam. Like a literal glove. She would have been like, damn. There's no way that that could be working. <laughs> I think about myself like, nah, there's no way. Yo, the friction, it would have been. Yeah, <laughs> like that's. Yeah. Bam, that's it. It would have been game he ain't over. ain't put no liquid on nope. it or nothing. Little buns. Little Ugh. buns. I just, as in, growing up where I grew up, we both from the Bronx, but it just makes me laugh that there's, always, there's two movies where a guy's name is Buns. Because growing up, Buns was, to me, a bad thing. Yeah, it was a bad thing. If somebody said, yo, you buns, you were offended because that meant you were soft because mm -hmm. buns are soft. Oh, yeah. Oh, it means, I, I thought it meant arse cheeks. 
Well, it could mean that. It too. could yeah. mean that, but those are soft too. It's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. whether you're thinking bread buns or butt yeah. buns. Maybe like, Jamie Foxx is getting so much buns, they just call him that. I, you could go with that. Yeah. yeah. I am mad at that. I just, again, I'm just, just coming from where I'm coming. Like, even when we watched Belly, like DMX, God rest his soul, his character was one of the toughest characters in the streets, but he was called buns. So I was like, my mind was confused. <laughs> I was like, but wait, who's calling him soft? Like, that's insane. He's killing people. I was in the same movie, bro. Yeah. So in Booty Call, I'm like, okay, I guess it's going for you. Like, he's getting a lot of buns, but I don't know. I was confused. Yeah. But uh, if if I said him, it would be a bit much, but I think a stronger person would be uh, like a stronger contender to say whose man's is this was definitely uh, the, the homegirl. Not the girl he fucked, the other girl, her friend, because she was just doing the most. She it's like, we just want to have a fun night. I get it. You want to be safe, but... Let's just have a fun night. Like, yeah, you know? she was very particular. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was, Gotta walk the dog. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're gonna make me go Gotta through do hoops. This, yeah, do that. yeah, she, back to yeah you're right. And seven right. weeks is a long time. It's a long time. I've been through it. I ain't going front, but seven weeks is just like. Uh, I imagine he's paying for her dinner. So he wasn't whipping it. No, not most hard. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He was paying for it. He definitely dropped money when he insulted him. Like, yeah, we gotta go. Damn, they went to three different spots. They went to a lot of spots. They went to three spots, and. Uh, they they lost in a bet in um in pool. But also, it's his fault. He went to her house with one condom. Was any plan yeah. to find mm. one? He was a That's fool. That's true. At any point, That's plot hole number one. Yeah. I always get so annoyed when I'm dating a guy and then they come over and they don't have a condom. I'm like, what? The they don't fuck? think they. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes they don't be thinking they're gonna do anything. Yeah, so they like, just yeah. like are like. Sometimes oh, nothing's gonna happen. As a so victim of that mistake, yeah. I can speak. Very well sometimes, into his mistake. Sometimes be like, oh, I, oh, yeah. you're giving me something? Yeah. I did not see that you coming. You didn't see it coming. I am you're unprepared. Just like, I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Yeah. And the shot worked. And the <laughs> and girl's like, like, oh, okay. I have, I have no more ammo left. <laughs> I, the last few guys I was with that I was dating had like quite like above average size penis. Nice. Um, Good for you. Well, no, it's fine. I don't really care. But <laughs> then right. the, the other guy I was seeing, he didn't have a condom. And I just was looking for one, but I had one free one that I got mm. from something, but it looked really small, much smaller than what the other guys use. So I was like, oh, I have this, but I think it'll be too small. And he was like, no, nah, it'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, he knows. No. He's not trying to live on front street. <laughs> he was supposed to just get a Magnum. No, bro. Don't waste money. Yeah. But the thing about Magnums is it's like moving. It's like moving into an apartment building that's bigger, like just like a huge apartment building. You don't need all that space, but you just know that you'll be fine as long as you're in there. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Well, it's a, we know. I had an ex boyfriend from like five years ago who would buy Magnums and they didn't, yeah. he didn't need them. Yeah, but, no, but I mean, it's like you don't need to. He could just get the right size and have it right. fit. You it could. looks a bit ridiculous. You could. Yeah, no, it's all right. You <laughs> right. Could. The trick is like right, once so. you finish, you're supposed to just be like mad quick. Just pull out. And just like, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. I feel so it. I'm, I'm, she's probably going to feel, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> hey, well, the my, deed was done. My ex boyfriend from Ireland, when uh, he's half Irish, and when we, we What's didn't. What's the have other half? half? Jamaican. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Tell your story. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you a question. But when we I'm went, thinking about how that happened. Well, I can see how that happens. <laughs> well, when we went, one time we didn't have condoms, so we went to the local bodega and he asked for condoms and the guy gave him magnums and he just pushed it back and he Aww. was like, I'm half Irish. That's funny. That's good. <laughs> That's honest. I respect that. <laughs> he was but like, he gave me still a fine, fine penis. It was fine. Like, like I don't think women really care that much. Once you're able to use it, it's fine. He's true. not too small. Yeah, though. he's yeah. being safe. That's what counts. He's he, he being safe. I, I need to stop fucking with these porn stars, then. I mean, <laughs> I'm playing, yeah, I'm it, you know. Obviously. That's what I said. You, you get what you got to get. I just yeah. felt that she was just, you know, she was trying to be safe. And but it, it, it is a two way street. He should have came prepared because mm-hmm. we've oh, a lot of us men made that mistake. Like mm-hmm. I said, I made that mistake, and the girls be looking at you like, "Fam, mm-hmm. you have one job." Mm-hmm. And she should have condoms too. I do think, like, I, I think men, it should be up to men because we have to do everything else. But just for yourself, it's good to have a few just in case. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Nah, because dudes, dudes, our minds, we think differently. Because yeah. the girl be like, yeah, I got a condom right over there. Oh, you be like, like, why you got okay, a condom okay, here for? Okay, okay, then no. <laughs> yeah, we be wild. And it's it, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, a part of your mind. There's a think like 25 that. sound like, yeah. let's be you, won't, you might not say it, but right. a part of you be like, wow. Why is that condom in the drawer? Hey, it is what it is, man. But I, I'm just, not going to leave. Yeah. But if you're there for a one night stand, it's not a big deal. Yeah, 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 but yeah. if you're trying to be in a relationship, then you're going to be like, yo, fam, I've been noticing. We've been dating for like a year. You always have condoms here. 
And then she got to make some excuse. Or, Call yeah. Harry. So, you know, it, it's a two-way street. But I get you. I get you. Because if they had that 7-Eleven there already, they could have just been they went to the store. They were in Chinatown. They could have gone to a store. Yeah. Walk a couple stores. more blocks away Man. from Chinatown. And then there'd be no movie. Regular, right. Yeah. Yeah, there will be you. no movie. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> the journey's greater than the destination. Yeah, that's true. It. But it's just like, yeah. In real life, you're thinking like, yeah, we would have already been at the store. We would have walked the dog. All that stuff would have been done. Mm -hmm. All of that. Most dudes would have threw the dog in the closet and just mm -hmm. walked away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, get your little ass in there. I'm trying to do things. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Um, also, shout out to the fact that Homegirl was kinky and had a fetish for impressionist. Oh, that scene went on forever, too. <laughs> yeah. Use some Cosby yeah. impressions. That ain't going to work. Jesse Jackson is fine. They had to... Uh, yeah. Had to explore Jamie Foxx's skill set, you know. Yeah, yeah that's sure what did. I thought yeah. that was. That was it. Just like I'm the this star of this movie. Like, yeah. we, got it, we know, we yeah. know. Yeah, look where it got him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of the four of them, who's who's on top? I mean, we yeah. talking about it. So yeah. <laughs> clearly, yeah, yeah. And his impressions. Which one of them you liked the most? It was either the Bill Cosby, the Jesse Jackson. No, it wasn't the Bill Cosby one. I thought the Bill Cosby one was cool. I thought it was good. Yeah, I like the Jesse pretty Jackson spot on. one. You like Jesse? Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. The Martin Luther King one was pretty oh, fun too. Yeah, yeah that's right. Pretty fun. Right. The it Mike was Tyson smashing was okay. on bubble wrap for some reason. Yeah, that didn't. Ex they didn't explain why they were having sex on bubble wrap. Oh, uh, <laughs> she she just moved in, so oh uh, yeah, that's they were, they say that. yeah, they were taking advantage of all the items that was there from her moving yeah, in. Yeah, fair enough. Which is still like, I get what you're saying. Like, whereas like we didn't have to use it, but it's there, so. It just, I guess they were trying to make yeah, it funny. Yeah, they were just trying to be stupid because they were just throwing stuff all over the place. So Yeah, her, I get that. Her phone was set up, which was yeah. very interesting. Yeah. It's like, yeah, hey, you just moved in, but your phone already set up. It got to be, man. Gotta. This ain't, <laughs> she doesn't have a cell phone. <laughs> Somebody got to call her. And his feet were ugly. We forgot about that. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, so yeah, ugly. man. It's, uh, would, that, would you call that a deal breaker? I mean, um, I don't touch or lick feet. So well, doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter that's fair. Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere near it anyway. Yeah, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. That's fair. That makes that's sense. I, yeah. If I saw a woman with bad feet, I just would never like mention it, but I just wouldn't look. Fair enough. Ever again. Like ever. She would wear yeah. like some nice shoes, open toe shoes. I'd be like, oh, all right, cool. Uh, so we went shopping. Okay. All right. that's it. Cause, Cause it's going to slip out like Tourette's. You're going to be like, yo, your feet suck. Yeah. I'll come up in an argument. Yeah, that will. That will. Yeah. <laughs> He said he called me arguing. That's why you got trash ass feet. <laughs> right. Oh God. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so movie about say oh wait, but who did you feel was doing too much? You didn't say yours. It was definitely Buns. Oh, so we're all buns. in agreement. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's rare on this show. We yeah. rarely have a mo a mutual understanding. Yeah, this is the first time for everything. Yeah. I'm happy yeah. for that. Yeah. I really am. Definitely buns all yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh Birdie Mass contradicting Judge was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You could say that too. So That was good because oh, there's oh, people are always like that. You know, the ones that are like, abstain and then, mm. you know. Of course like, it's yeah, they do their thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's always somebody yeah. like yeah. that. There's people in the world that be That's like, still relevant. Yeah, don't yeah. do drugs, but then they're right behind you doing drugs. Yeah.